As promised, let's just get a little, you know, a little message from the moon deck. Okay, guys. Okay. Oh, I just gotta keep healing through this. Keep healing through this. Try not, you know, if you're creating with patterns that are fighting self, that's the biggest thing. Just want to heal from that. Yeah, we just want to heal from that. Okay. I am on the right path and look divinely guided. Well, we are. I unleash my wildness and I choose to be free. And we're going to meet any resistance with kindness. We need to allow ourselves to continue to create homes that are sacred, sacred, spaci sp sacred spaces full of beauty, inspiration, and protection. Guys, the more that we do this, and I feel like that's what we're really seeing, and this is what we're really understanding, is this, the magic of this. We need this. We, we, we so badly need this because our environments can so deeply impact us and the more that we can create spaces and places like this it's going to be easier for us so maybe we're feeling some sort of way we're having a day but we can get back into you know using that masculine energy wisely so yeah we're divinely guided we're on the right path it's great to know this but this is what we can actively do within the 3D when we're having a hard time, when we're having a hard time shifting. It's like, we need, we need, to, we need to see these tools in our tool belt. I am on the right path and divinely guided. When we relax into ourselves, we feel more at peace and return to trust. We remember that each small step creates the whole, a journey of overflowing with divine order. A loving force within and around you is guiding you on your path. Breathe. And we've had much information within the past four or five readings to show we're working with breath. We're healing with breath. The guidance may take the form of inner knowing or may present itself as meaningful signs in your life. The exact name you give to this guiding power is up to you. Source, God, the universe, great spirit, higher self, the divine, oneness, almighty, consciousness, or many others. You may also look at your spirits, guides, angels, and ancestors for support. It's often a calm, encouraging, and lovingly firm voice, free from anxiety, force, and fear. As you walk your path, notice and acknowledge the signs. And this is just communication. Once again, it's a connection to communicating with spirit and there's an open dialogue there they really want us to understand there's open dialogue and we can talk to our ancients and ancestors our angels our spirit guides sanctuary my home is a sacred space full of beauty inspiration and protection home is a private sacred haven it's a place where we can ground love and unwind celebrate cry and laugh and restore and this is what like you know what if the times we're in, we're spending a lot of time at home rather than sitting there going mad, going crazy, being on your phone, just being like, ah. we can work on our home. We can put that masculine energy to have some healthy use. Not to say that there's once again, too, this is a personal attack, guys. No personal attack in here. Your home is an expression of your spirit and wants your love. When you create it with a sense of beauty, inspiration, and protection, you create a sanctuary. An altar that lifts the vibration of your home can be a place to cultivate deep presence. This is your special nook where you can meditate, pray, journal, contemplate, and create. Maintain your own version of sacredness and tend to your space. Clear and clean regularly. Offer flowers and stones throughout. Light special candles, add images, textures, colors that uplift you. 
Discard anything that brings you down, no matter how sentimental. Put this into practice and create a sacred home anywhere. And this is so true. And if this is naturally who you are, you get this. Like, guys, I feel sick if I don't create in this manner. It's like, and people around me are like, what's wrong with you? And it's just, I believe it's very much my Piscean nature. Try not to analyze it too much, but just like honor what it is. It's like a feeling, a feeling of cleanliness. You know, cleanliness is godliness, but not being obsessed, right? Um, And you're having your home have a flow to it and like, you know, understanding that things hold energy within them. Like you could see there's certain types of healers that can hold possessions and know things from the energy that's held within them. And when it's time to, you know, it doesn't mean we have to throw them away. We can donate them. We can cleanse the energy even before we donate them with sage if we want to do that. But I mean, for us, it's just like, it's time to go. It's time to honor that, you know, it's the, it's once again too, it's just creating with the energy of the Taurus. It's allowing the flow within your life. Energy must flow. Energy must stay, like, like stay in motion. And we're always just clamping ourselves in. We're always just suffocating ourselves. We have to stop suffocating ourselves. We have to stop suffocating our life. We have to allow the room in for the sacredness. We have to be like the tigress over here. We have to use our will and allow it to continue to understand that, yeah, okay, you know what? Life is hard, but it's this work that we're going to do to put into self, to put into the sacred spaces of our home, to put in the sacred spaces of us being a sacred container that's going to help nourish and feed us in order to have this massive expansion and it matters because we matter this matters our mission matters love light and healing energy sent your way to create with today guys thanks for sticking around for our our little special message from la luna take care see you soon